Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is noun phrase 130. The noun phrase today is personal space. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, personal space is the physical space surrounding one's body. Uh, it is usually thought of as a circular area of space about a foot or maybe even as much as a foot and a half, maybe up to about 18 inches uh, around a person's body. Uh, if another person enters this space uh, without being invited or welcomed, uh, it can cause someone to feel threatened or uncomfortable. So this is what we talk about as somebody's personal space. All right, let's continue. Uh, the origin of, this term, of the term personal space comes from Edward T. Hall. He was a cultural anthropologist. Uh, he also coined the term uh, pro proxemes, uh, which is defined as the study of human use of space and the influence it has on behavior, communication, and social interaction of people in a book called The Hidden Dimension. All right, so of course, you probably, nowadays though, if you come across it, you might study this in psychology. Psychology class is where they might cover some ideas about personal space and you know how people naturally react to personal space. Uh, all right, let, let's cover the examples and we'll, we'll go over that with the examples, I guess. All right, so let's look at number one. Nobody likes one's personal space uh, to be invaded. That's what we usually say. We usually say somebody invades your personal space uh, when it is uncalled for, when it's unnecessary. All right, however, though, there are a lot of situations where people will make exceptions just to get along, where space is tight, everybody's got to be in one area. You might make some exceptions to this rule, but generally, if there's more than enough space, you don't want somebody in this area. There's also other cases, too, where it feels weird, like uh, if there's lots of space around, like say somebody was uh, on a train, and there's like lots of empty spaces all around, but somebody else comes and just for some reason, they just want to sit right next to you when there's a lot of free spaces around. That may make you feel a little uncomfortable too, because you might actually broaden your idea of personal space at this point, because there's so much around uh, and it feels strange. Now, if the train started getting crowded and somebody sat next to you, that's quite normal. But if, this, if the seats were all still empty and they just want to sit next to you and there's a lot of free seats around, you might also feel like somebody's kind of entering your personal space. All right, let's look at the second one here. Uh, in a big city, people often make exceptions uh, and bear their personal space to be invaded in, you know, uh, in crowded buses, trains, or elevators. So, yeah, so if you're on a bus and or a train and, a lot of people got to squeeze their body very close to you. Everybody knows this is the way it has to go. So even though people tend to get more silent in this sort of situation, and they tend to kind of like just focus and look at a certain direction. You notice this, especially in an elevator. I mean, actually, to be honest with you, everybody usually faces towards the the uh, the exit of the elevator as it goes out. If for, a per if, for example, a person turned around <laughs> in the elevator and just looked the opposite way that everybody would think they were weird uh, and you know they, they would think what's wrong with this person or maybe they might think more about that but people will make exceptions about their personal space like I said they, they get more quiet and they just kind of go into a little bit of a stare when their personal space is invaded until you know uh, probably just for the temporary amount of time that it must be invaded or you know when the situation calls for it all right, and let's look at number three here. I felt uncomfortable when he leaned too close uh, and entered my personal space, especially if you didn't want the person to, uh, and you felt that it you know, wasn't really necessary for them to do it, and it, it wasn't an accident or something like that. We'll make exceptions for, for things like this. Okay, anyway, um, I hope you got it. I hope you uh, found it to be informative. Uh, I hope it was uh, food for thought. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.